Hi, welcome to my channel Galactic Bacon. My video today is going to be an Elite Dangerous First Steps Guide for new players. And I'll be taking you through this with my own fresh account. So I'm starting the clean slate. Uh, I'm starting out with the same amount of money as you guys. In the same ship, we all start in a sidewinder. And each week over the next few months, I will take you through different aspects of this game on this new account in this video series for beginners. There's been quite a few changes to the game this year and there seems to be a renewed interest in Elite Dangerous with new players coming on board all the time. But I keep hearing about people who have tried it out for a couple of days and given up because they say it has a steep learning curve. I can understand that but I want to encourage you to persist with this game. If you can hang in there and learn the game, you will get a lot more enjoyment from it. It is a huge game and so much to learn and so much to discover uh, with it as well. Um, I have to say that with recent additions, uh, the game is actually easier to get into than ever before. I was one of the original early backers of the game on Kickstarter. I was testing it in alpha release before there were any tutorials and I can tell you there was a lot less help and guidance then than there is in the game now. So it's a great time to get started with Elite Dangerous. So let's dive in. Now I'm uh, assuming uh, at this point you have installed the game and uh, you have it up and running and you have it on the same screen as me. If you've already started the tutorial, uh, that's okay. I'm going to take you through the tutorial and the complete start up. If you need to fast forward to the next part of this video where I take you through your first mission, etc., then by all means, if you maybe you've got stuck doing the tutorial, you may find it helpful to watch this uh, all the way through. But I'm starting from scratch, just as you would be... Uh, with your game as well. Uh, so I'm going to take you through the tutorial today and then also help you through doing your first mission and we'll just learn aspects of the game, aspects of the head-up display, some of the controls just as we uh, progress through. So let's start our fresh account. So I'm going to press the start button and we're logging in. To the server. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license. So, as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and, uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but, uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. Okay, because we have the tutorial voice playing through this, I'm not going to speak when the tutorial is speaking. So if you're wondering why I'm not saying anything, just so that my voice isn't fighting over the tutorial voice so that you can hear that on the video as well. Um, so we're in the starter station. I'm going to auto launch. Um, so hopefully you have some key binding set up that you can select menus, use the default settings to begin with. Uh, sorry, I just hit my coffee cup there. Um, so I'm going to auto launch. Let's do that. And we're off. Of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace. 
So remember you don't have to touch anything during this part of the tutorial. Um, so the computer has complete control of your ship and it's going to take you outside of the, the station. Okay, so this part of the tutorial, you're just testing the basic uh, ship movements. You're not going anywhere, you don't need to touch the thrust or anything. So if you have the mouse set up, you will use your mouse to do this, or you can use the keys in the keyboard for your joy uh, x-axis, um, rz and x-axis. I recommend setting up a joystick for this. Okay, it wants me to hurry up. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to do pitch, yaw, and roll. Uh, so let's do uh, pitch first. We'll go up and down. That objective is completed. Um, let's do some yaw as well. And we're going to do roll to the side. Now yeah, that's completed. Okay, uh, default should be W on your keyboard for throttle, or if you have your joystick set up, you will have a throttle control uh, on there. By the way, I recommend the HOTUS um, series of joysticks. It's the one I use. Um, it's really great for Elite Dangerous. It makes such a big difference to this game. Okay, so uh, increase your thrust and move forward. Don't worry about speed or anything like that at the moment. Okay, press the S button or X to go straight to zero, and that will bring you to a stop. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to go backwards, press S, or on your throttle uh, stick, uh, move it towards you, and you will go backwards. So press W to go forward and just bring it to zero speed or press X and that will bring you to a stop again. Okay, if you can see that little green indicator Okay, so we're going to move towards the target, uh, so increase thrust, press W, um, I'll keep your speed to maybe under 100 uh, once you get close to the target, so I'm going to increase my speed a little bit just now. Direct your ship towards the target, and now I'm going to slow down just to about 100, which will make it easier to progress through um, all the targets and the checkpoints. Okay, that's our first one. you notice the arrows in the targets tell you where you're going next, so it's pointing up the way. 
and it gives some indication of what way your ship should be pointing. So make sure the arrows are pointing up and you'll find it more, more easier to go through. Right, so you're going to roll and pitch at the same time to do this one. And then turn around for the next one. Okay, now you need to dive down, uh, turn a little corner to get this one. It's good practice to consider the angle and speed of your approach. Okay, remember to roll for the next target. If you're finding this a little bit quick, uh, just reduce your speed a little bit till it's within the little blue marker on the speed indicator. Um, when your throttle is within the blue markings, that will automatically adjust your speed for you. Okay, roll and pitch at the same time. And now we need to go down a little bit and then just pitch up and roll a little and we get this target. And the next one is straight ahead. So you may have to climb a little bit to get this next one and then turn and be ready to turn a sharp right once you enter the tunnel. Roll and turn. Okay, roll and pitch. Dive down, pitch up, pitch up. Then through the tunnel, straight. Uh, do a 180 roll at this point. Your ship's boost function greatly increases your speed, but use it wisely. Okay, the default for boost is tab, so hit the tab button and you will boost. And you will temporarily speed up and then slow down again. So just make sure you're on target that you don't miss it. By the way, if you... I'll wait till this is finished. By the way, if you miss any of the targets, you can go around and do them again. Okay, to target a beacon, uh, the default setting is T, or the three button on the joystick. Uh, so I have a mindset to T. Okay, so now we have to uh, press the U button to deploy hard points. Press U. Right, so we're going to use our thrusters to move towards the beacon. So increase thrust. Try and keep the, the speed bar within the blue range. And slow down so you don't overshoot it or hit it. And we're going to gradually come in closer to our object. 
and then we're going to hit X to stop or S to reduce your thrust. Okay, you can either use a the mouse button, left button, or your trigger on your joystick if you have that set up as well. I'm using a joystick, so I'm going to scan the beacon, and you hold the button in well till it's complete. Don't. Yeah, don't don't just hold the trigger. You need to hold it in for a few seconds. Okay. Uh, right. So what you have to do now, press U button to retract your hard points and the target uh, HUD should disappear like that. Okay, now what we're going to do first before we engage Super Cruise, we're going to find a target. So maneuver towards the target. And it's that system there. Combat training area. And we're going to press J. Okay. Increase your throttle. Okay, so we're coming into the combat training area. You don't have to do anything at this point, your ship is still in control of the computer. Okay, we're disengaging and we're arriving at the combat training area. Okay, right, to do this, uh, use your target uh, button, which is T, is the default setting, or uh, button 3 on your joystick, so press that just now. And it should target the ship. You will see a representation of the ship in the little um, indicator to the left of your radar. Um, 
press your trigger and it should bring up the data link scanner. Hold the button in. Okay, so it's now identified the target. Okay, so you can use, uh, you have different fire groups for different sets of ship equipment and weaponry. And uh, the default button for that is N, or you can use the button 5 on your joystick, or whatever you have set that up to be. So, I now have my weapons. Okay, so your weapons are now, should be live. And... Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the thrust, then we're going to target uh, one of these uh, items that we have to destroy. I'm not going to go too fast, probably about yeah, just under 100 speed. Uh, so let's target our first canister and then start shooting your lasers. Next target, you can use the T button if you like, and that will choose the target in front of you. Let's turn around. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to fly out a little bit we're a little bit close to the ship. Uh so I'm going to fly away from the ship. And then I'm going to turn around to our target and we'll target another one. So maneuver so that you can find the target and then hit the T button to highlight the target first and then we're going to try and follow this drone. I'm going to set my speed to maybe about 100. These ships are not very fast so... Oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I might slow down a little bit. You'll see the distance means he's coming towards us. His shield is already down. Um, now, if you have a ship which has a shield that is already down, you're maybe better using uh, another type of weapon such as a multi-cannon which will break through their armour. So I'm going to use my multi-cannon here. And it will do a lot of damage as you can see. And he's gone. Okay, we can't quite see the target at the moment because it's round the ship. I'm going to use the boost button to try and get round there. I recommend targeting your opponent during combat. Okay, press T to set target and we now have him. Your 
What we're going to do is we're going to use our lasers first of all to try and get his shields down. Okay, once his shields are down, once they're offline, then use the multi cannon. That's reloading at the moment. And that's him away. Select target. Okay. I'm going to move in a bit closer to this one. He's moving towards us, so I'm going to use the lasers. We'll try and get shields down. He's coming towards us now, so. Yeah, we're a little bit far away, so I'm going to have to increase speed a little bit to catch this guy. Right, he's attacking us, and our shields are now offline. So, his shields are offline, so I'm going to use a multi cannon. Our shields are trying to come online again. He's gone. Okay, so we're going to fly away from the mega ship. So let's throttle up. And I'm going to boost just to give us a little head start. And take us away from the mega ship. Okay, so we're now going to press the J button to engage the frameshift drive. That's going to uh, engage the uh, hyperdrive to take us to the next uh, planetary system. Yeah, before we can do that, we need to retract the weapons. So press the U button to retract hard points. And then we're going to engage a uh, hyperspace jump. Now when we arrive at the star, I encourage you to pull up on the joystick so that you don't fly into the star. Navigation tab. 
Okay, so external interface is uh, the default button is one. And that tab will come up. So what you want to do is uh, move over to the list of objects, select Kilio station uh, with either the space bar or your joystick trigger. And we are going to uh, select the destination. And it has Super Cruise Assist. So uh, we're going to go back, press 1, or exit the panel with the backspace. Or you can press the 1 button. Okay. Select the target and then throttle up. Okay, we're coming into the station. Uh, when you are within one million miles of a station, then that is the time to disengage your frameshift drive and that will bring you in close to the station. So we'll press J to disengage. There we go. Okay, so we're going to manoeuvre ourselves towards the entrance of the station. Uh, I would keep your speed within about 100, just under 100. Normally for uh, accessing a station you need to be within 7.5 kilometres. Okay, 
So I'm going to uh, slow right down and just uh, reduce my throttle to zero. Okay, so press 1 to bring up your interface panel on the left hand side. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the top tabs. Make sure you can navigate the tabs at the top. So you can use the Q and D buttons um, or you can use your joystick to do this. So. Under contacts, you should have the name of the station. Press the space bar to select that. And then move over until the request docking button has been highlighted. Press space again or the trigger on your joystick. We've now requested docking. Uh, press the one button or backspace to get rid of the panel. You'll notice when you enter the station that uh, the landing pad numbers are displayed inside the station. Uh, sometimes the the landing pads that are closest to the entrance to the station are the trickiest ones to, to get to. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay, so we're going to enter the hangar, select that. So uh, at this point we, we've come to the end of the tutorial uh, but I'll still take you through the next little uh, section. Um, so my commander name is Galactic Bacon. I'm going to select a body type mail. I continue and you have two loadouts you can um, select, I'm going to select the all-rounder new commander okay and select that one so you start off with a balance of 1000 credits uh, be very careful how you use that money, don't go spending it from the off uh, you don't have a lot of money to start off with so don't do that um, I'm going to continue choose a name for your ship uh, now what was I going to call this one 
Um, do you remember those little toy cars you used to have as kids? Little tykes? For some reason that just came into my mind so I was going to call this ship by that name. Uh, and then the ID plate... Can only get so many uh, characters in that. Okay, uh, your license is ready for registration. Good luck, Commander. Hold on. Is that? Sh yeah, ship ID. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, confirm once you've done all of that. Um, I'm not going to take you through that first mission uh, just now. Um, I'm going to do that in a, another video. Um, so if you would like to uh, follow that, ne that next video where I take you through your first um, proper mission and we'll go through some of the other basics of Elite Dangerous. Uh, once you've finished the, the tutorial, please go and watch that uh, next video. And uh, please subscribe to this channel if you found it helpful. Uh, feel free to leave comments. And um, yeah, so I think that's us done for today. And I'll see you next time.